this is a story about one of those moments where you see a guy walking through the park and then this happens. Unbelievable, right? There's no filters or special effects, just Ed Condit, who decided he wanted to feed the squirrels near his Carbon County office. I always thought they were cute, and uh, I brought some peanuts to the park one day, and I've been coming about every, every day ever since. That was back in September. Most of them would just run up and get food, but there was one that would come really close, and, and, and I just happened to run into her pretty much every day. and. Uh, Slowly but surely, I could, I could, you know, pet her. She'd hop up on me. I could, you know, I could feed her by hand. Condon says after a while, that squirrel, who he now calls Butters, started coming to him when he called. But before you get all excited about petting squirrels, Condon says Butters wasn't always so lovey-dovey. In fact, he says she initially bit him. It healed up pretty quick. Condon says he was relieved to find out squirrels rarely get rabies. But what he did get because of her is a nickname, the Squirrel Whisperer. And it's not just Butters. A second squirrel has started listening. He won't jump up on me or anything, but uh, um, I'm working on that one too. So maybe I'll have two in the, and sometime soon. So while many of us are focused on the latest political war waging in Washington, Sometimes it's moments like these. And there she is again. In her own backyard. Just a guy and his squirrel that can help us deal with it all. <laughs> Jackie Ferris, 69 News.